Okay guys, here we go. So I've done a bit more work on this. This is actually going really well. What I've done is I've been writing down like what my goals are for each time I sit down to work on this and then working to those goals. That seems to be working really nicely. Kind of got past my block. I kind of, I was basically like stuck on the um, the world stuff. So I just need to do something else. Otherwise I'll just continue being stuck with, stuck with it. So yeah, we've got our... Uh, our ship builder here. There's a stats window down here which doesn't um, doesn't do anything at the moment. Uh, the save, load and reset stuff up here doesn't do anything. We've got uh, a list of components and uh, and then we've got module information. So the module information stuff pops up here. When it, Whenever you click one you can drag it into the work area here and uh, you know you've got a bit of description so it's a lightweight structural cubic truss section. Um, so you can drag basically all of these things into the work area. When you drag something into the work area it appears like this. You can use the uh, the Q and the E keys to rotate it around its, its, like, uh, its placement. Um, and then when you click it onto uh, a attachment knob it attaches. Or it, it clicks into place so you can see what it will look like. What you can then do is use Q and E to rotate it around to uh, to like you know get the right placement that you want so if we wanted to build like the probably the simplest ship we can um, we're probably going to want a truss a integrated engine cube uh, which as you can see provides thrust and torque uh, additionally the control cube here produces some torque as well uh, and then we're going to want some cargo so let's plot on uh, some cargo points here and uh, just spin around and put on the bottom as well uh, it's interesting I've just noticed that the uh, the attachment points in there haven't disabled they should have done so that's uh, a bug uh, and then we're probably going to want some fuel right and uh, it looks like I've got the scaling on the fuel wrong so I need to check on that that should be twice the size so what you can see is where I've got fuel selected, or say cargo selected, uh, we've got these, some of them are green and some of them are red, that's because some of them are for modules only, some of them are for blocks only, and some of them are for both. So if we pick a module, like a crew module, we can then attach uh, a crew module to the front. Now that doesn't quite work the way it, it should do, um, but this basically gives us uh, a little bit extra cargo space, two crew member living accommodations. Basically, you can plonk those on the top. Um, drone bay provides uh, support for remote control drones, so we can stick one of those on there. Uh, what else have we got? Um, so, this is probably getting quite heavy. Obviously, these don't update at the moment, but they should do. So let's add some additional manoeuvring. So if we get some RCS thrust blocks, you can see they produce a little bit extra torque. And if we plonk some of these on the ship, that will increase the ship's torque. And uh, yeah, those knobs should be disabling. I need to check why they aren't. So yeah, so we've got our little ship here. Uh, one thing that I've not got yet is if I scroll back up here, if I stick a rotary truss system on, that will clip through stuff, which it shouldn't do. So these need to have like exclusion bits that uh, check against the collision cubes or the collision boxes of other things. Uh, yeah, so if I just switch that back, uh, try and quickly fix. Let's fix the fuel tank uh, block. Fuel block should be two by two by two. Let me just get rid of that so we can see what I'm doing. Yes, I'm definitely recording audio. I've done that in the past, but I've not done that. Right, let me save that up. Um, so let's go back in here. So what we can do is we can make uh, if we stick a truss system on uh, a rotary truss on the back. Uh, we can then start adding on like cargo pods and uh, actually it would make sense if all the passengers go around the outside of this, right? So we can start adding on passenger blocks around the outside, so that's going to give us what? Uh, four, eight, 
12, 16, 20 passengers and we put some cryo sleep modules on. These are at the moment just represented by the same colour blocks. We get those and uh, then what we can do is start extending out a truss system on the back. on there and some cargo support on this and we'll leave that side of the truss empty to save some weight and we want an integrated engine on the back and then we want some fuel tanks that which are now the right size actually so middle mouse button now scrolls around the orbit camera mode so we can do that and do that we can do that we can do that and there's our cargo and passenger transfer ship done. Probably need some RCS so let's put some of those on. There's no symmetry mode at the moment. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to implement that or not. So there we go. Ta -da. So what I can't do now is save it. What I should be able to do eventually once this is working and obviously what players will be able to do is write in their ship name in there. They'll be able to review all the statistics and, uh, and then click save and that will save it to a file on their computer. Um, I'm really interested to see what people build with this so yeah uh, that's that. One thing that um, you can do which is a bit weird is stick trusses like rotary trusses on the side like that. I don't know whether that's very good spaceship design but I don't know it would look weird. The other thing you can do is stick rotary trusses onto rotary trusses and build like the Catherine Wheel of Doom So that's going to flail around all over the place. <laughs> anyway, I'm, so there's a few little little things like some of the rules for not being able to attach a truss onto a tr uh, rotary truss onto a rotary truss, that sort of thing. Needs some work, but other than that, we've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good start. All right, awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Rock on.